Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my humble abode. I'm super excited today. Mainly because... Hold up. Can you guess? Can you guess what it is? I don't think you can guess. I don't think you know. You know, it's not obvious. You know, it's really hard to guess what it is. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, because I don't think you guys are ever going to figure it out. It is the Jeffree Star Holiday. That's the makeup gods. Holiday Collection. I am so freaking excited. So this was technically supposed to be a Christmas present for moi, from my beloved. But, you know, he's like, you know what, Lindy? I know you're probably going to need to record this. So it's kind of, like, relevant, you know? So he's like, you can go ahead and record it for that day. But then once you record with the products, you need to give them back to me. And I'm going to re-gift them to you again on Christmas. So this is the only time I'm going to be able to touch this stuff. Is right now. My first PR on packaging. <laughs> it's not. I wish. <sighs> this is it. This is the moment. I wish I had one of those cameras where I can have it above me and I can be like, oh, oh my god. I wasn't expecting this. I know it's the holiday packaging, but for some reason I was still expecting his pink. Or no, it's his, um, of course the alien is his holiday. So it has the alien's uh, emblem or symbol, and then his Jeffree Star logo, the M, the the alien logo, and the Jeffree Star logo. I feel like I need to be extra in this, just cause I'm, it's a Jeffrey, <laughs> it's a Jeffree Star tryout, try on, test out. I don't know. Oh, I always love how he, or not he personally, but how they package the packaging. Because they always make sure it's nice and snug. And they always look like little presents. Look at them. So it feels like I know it's Christmas. I'm already going and... Oh, I know what this is. Or do I know what this is? I still haven't gotten any of his highlighters. But I don't have any of his um, highlighters yet. And I need to get some. Because they're gorgeous. I <laughs> Dropped all of them. Okay, I'm just gonna have to. Okay. Alright, so pretty much. I'm gonna stop moving around so you get all the crinkling sounds. But pretty much. Pretty much, I got his whole entire collection for his holiday collection. The only thing. Things I did not get was all of the lip scrubs just because it's unnecessary. I don't need to have every single lip scrub, but I think I got the eggnog one. I think. The only one I have is the pumpkin one from, you know, a little bit ago, and then... Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You don't even know how excited I am. I get British accents. Horrible British accents. Okay. Okay. So. First, we're gonna talk about the liquid lips just because should i swatch the liquid lips right now i feel like you guys aren't gonna see them if i swatch them you know i'll swatch them don't don't worry i'll swatch them so oh my god i'm so excited okay so the first shade it says shake well before use by the way the first shade i have is jeffrey who Whoville, Jeffrey Whoville. I have Jeffrey Who. It's like a nice deep red, it looks like. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at this, I love it. I love, I love the packaging. I know you guys can't, probably can't see like the whole shebang, but it's got sparkles all the way around it. You know, it's like a top coat of sparkles and it has the white. Than his usual um, logo. 
Oh, oh, wait. Huh? Okay. Super confused because this is a deep red. Then this is like a light pink. I need to investigate. Is this actually the shade name? Hold up. Oh, okay, so it is right. Okay, so the color is right, it's just, it just has that deep red color on the front. Oh, I mean, I don't care, I'm not gonna be keeping the box. Still fine with that, all right. So, we have Jeffrey Who, which is like this nice pink light nude shade. Then we have the shade Triggered, which looks like a dark brown. Maybe it's not supposed to be matching the things in the front. Maybe. Ooh. So here's Triggered. That is nice. I'm horrible with shade coloring. I'm trying to tell you what colors it is, but I'll try my darndest. This is like a, a dark nude. It's the best I got. It's the best I got. You'll, you'll see the swatches. Don't you worry. Don't you fret. Okay, next is Clout. This I kind of want as a hair color. Just because it's so freaking pretty. This is Clout. It's like a light, I want to say, not lavender. Maybe a lavender? But it's a really light lavender white purple color. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. The next is the Hi. How are you? His classic opening to like every Jeffree Star video on his a YouTube. Oh, that's nice. It's like a nice course. It's it's Jeffree. It's like a nice, it's not like super bright pink. At least it's what it looks like in here. It looks like it's like a muted bright pink, if that makes any sense to you at all. Am I making any sense to you? Maybe my excitement is just getting the best of me. I don't know. Next is, can't relate, can't relate is like a nice, very nude, like almost my skin tone nude. Oh, this one, this one I can't wait for. This one is like a nice pale army green, army green, army green, if that makes sense. It's called Karma. Don't worry, y'all are gonna be seeing the swatches. Oh, then this one is Scandal. Look at this Jeffrey, and there's always a scandal with him, you know? He's always making it exciting. It's like a, like a almost pastel pink. Then one more liquid lip, guys. One more. Ah, oh, these are so amazing. I love these, because I literally have like none of these colors. Oof. Oof. I don't know what I don't know what lippy I'm gonna wear, and then there is what is this? Y S O T P. Does this mean something? Does this mean something, guys? I mean, I try to keep up with all of Jeffrey's crap, but you know sometimes I can't. It's, what does this abbreviation mean? You should opt the pig. So we can get into the next swatching. Okay. Guys, I'm so excited. Like, I really do think I'm gonna... Ooh, I really do think I'm gonna wear the green one for my look today. Just take one more look at it. Take a screenshot of it if you want. So you can see how amazing it is. Not sponsored. Just what I use. <laughs> like I'm gonna have sponsors right now. Huh. See, that's the thing. If I ever get, if I ever get to that point, I don't know if I'll ever get to that point. But it's always good to dream big. But if I get to the point of like Jeffrey or Tati, which honestly, the one YouTuber I wish, not wish to be, but wish to kind of follow after is Tati. Cause she's Tati Westbrook, Glam Life Guru. Cause she's so sweet. She tries to not have like any drama on her channel, but she, somehow she, yet she still 
gets hated on, but she's like the sweetest person in the world, at least from what I see. And she always gives the most honest reviews. Even when she gets hate from giving honest reviews, she still gives them. Oh my goodness, I love Tati. But that's why I try to like strive to be, you know, or again, not to be. But and that's another thing. I don't know, like, if I ever get to that point, like, will I do sponsorship, sponsorships, sponsorships? I think at some point I would, but I think I would only be doing sponsorships with stuff I actually like, you know? Like I'm not going to sponsor something that I hate or dislike or think it's meh. I want to sponsor something that's amazing. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let's take the box car carcasses, the box carcasses of the lipstick for Alright. Next, what is this? I think these are the. Are these? Yeah. I think these are the um, lip ammos. Which again, they're all cutely bundled. I love this. I like that they do this. That's adorable. Alright. So. God, look at all the crackling noises. So. With the liquid lips, you get eight. With the liquid. Liquid. With the liquid ammos, with the liquid ammunitions, you get four. And they're all gorgeous. Alright. So, the first one is Area 51, of course. Oh, I love it. I mean, Jeffrey's just so different. You know, oh, look at it. I'm so excited. I only have one lip ammo, and it's um, unicorn blood, I think. I don't really care for it. Like, it, it kind of bleeds. The, the unicorn blood lip ammo just bleeds. And I did not like it. Wait, how do I open this? Mm. Hello? I mean, this is, like, really nice packaging. Do I turn it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Look at that. Okay, so I think the majority of these are all... I have, like, all, like, micro glitter in them. But that is gorgeous. Maybe I'll wear this one. I don't know, guys. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and swatch this one. Yeah, so it's it's not like one swatch full pigment. He has to go a couple over it a couple times. Oh my god, but it's totally worth it. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Now I don't know what shade I want to wear. Maybe it's a ah. Oh, I don't know. It's so Christmassy. Like it's. It's, you know, it's alien, but it's also Christmassy because of that green. Alright, so next is Alien Tears. Again, I love Jeffrey. Freaking talented as heck. Okay, so Alien Tears. I think this one might be the clear, like, top coat one that you can put over something. So let's just go ahead and... Ooh. Or by itself. I like that. Do you see that? That is nice. Siri? Hi, Lindy. I am not talking to you right now, Siri. You can just stop. Thank you. That is that is pretty. I like that. It has like um pink micro glitter in it. Oh my god. It just like melts onto your hand. It smells like it's sweet. It smells like something sweet, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Alrighty. Ooh. I feel bad for, like, ripping the boxes, but I'm never going to use them again. Alright. Did I show you guys the lip ammos? This is the box it comes in. Everything's white and gorgeous. Of course, it has, again, the shade names on the bottom. But this one is Galaxy Gold. Oh my... Look at that. That is pretty. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do a swatcheroo. Oh my god. This one again, I mean, it can be either or, you know? Like either a taco or just by itself. But look, do you see it? Wait, do you see it? Yes, you see it. Okay. I'm so excited. This, I kind of, it makes me want to put this one over. The green shade I'll be wearing. I don't know. 
Oh, of course. And the next one is Beam Me Up Scotty. This one is also like a gold, but it's got like a... What is that? Like a, I think it has like pink micro glitter in it too. Let's see. Oh my, yeah. It's got pink micro glitter in it. That is gorgeous. Oh my. Sorry for the horrible swatch. Look at that. Yeah, because it's, it's gold and it has like that pink micro glitter into it. Oh my god. Oof. <sighs> that is gorgeous. Okay. So those are the four lip ammos. We got Beam Me Up, Alien Tears, Area 51, and Galaxy Gold. You like that? Alright. Again, beautiful packaging. And this, did I get it? Yes, okay, so this is the lip scrub. It is the eggnog one. <laughs> eggnog is my jam. I love eggnog. Say what you will about eggnog, but I love it. It has to be like not even the fancy eggnog, but it has to be um, overwise eggnog. It can't be Dean's. I hate Dean's eggnog. I'm sorry, Mr. Dean. I just, I dislike your eggnog. Okay, I'm sorry. Overwise is the best. All right. So the, um, the lip scrub is the same as, same packaging as everything else. It has the gold shimmer all in it. Oh my God, okay. Eggnog, and this is perfect too, because we just had a winter storm last night, like our first legit like snow of the year. I'm glad it came after Thanksgiving, but you know, I don't really care for snow. I'm sorry, I live in in in, in, in Indiana. <laughs> I live in Indiana, where it snows like 24/7, and we have horrible weather. Welcome to Indiana, land of corn and and corn. Yay! Alright, so I'm gonna take some of this. Oh, it tastes like eggnog. This stuff is edible. I don't advise you just to go and eat the whole thing. But, you know, it will not harm you if you eat it after you put it on your lips. Just saying. And you have a nice little taste of eggnog in your mouth. I think he has a couple more flavors. I think he might have like gingerbread, I want to say. I don't have a lot of lip to put that on. Hashtag team thin lips. Alright, anyway. Last, but certainly not least, is the actual star of a show. Get it? The star of a show. I know. The alien palette. I'm missing the ladies. Oh, I'm missing the ladies. Oh, I'm missing the ladies. Honestly, I think you're just hearing more of that action. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I'm surprised he didn't send a postcard. And he did. Alright. Aw, oh, Jeffrey, you look so cute. Look at him. So, this is the postcard. Jeffrey, can I be one of your models? I have blue hair. You said help. And I'm pale as pale can be. I can't tan, so I'm always pale. It's fine. I've come to terms with it. I like your postcard. Oh my god. Is... Alright. So it has that wrapping and then it's extra protected with this. Ooh. I love it. I love it. Look at the packaging. It's sparkly. It's purple. It looks like the freaking galaxy. Now this is a box that I would keep. I swear I'm not a hoarder. I swear. It's just so pretty. You know, like set this up. Even with, with the palette not in it, just set it up on your makeup stand. You know? Like this. Jeffrey. 
Bravo, sir. I haven't even opened it up. And I love it already. I'm going to, though. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm trying not to harm the box, because I want to keep the box. You guys, you know, this is, it. this is the end of the video. You guys don't want to see this. You know, you don't want to see the palettes. It's squishy. Oh, oh. Oh, he's right with the eyes. Ooh. Oh, I think he fixed it. I think he fixed the eyes. I guess when he was showing it on his channel, like the when he showed how he made the eyes 3D, it had like space in between it where you could see where you could just put your fingers on it under it. Then he actually fixed it to where it goes all up. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll stop talking and show you the palette. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm super excited. All right, so this is the palette. It's gorgeous. It's squishy. The eyes are 3D. Let's see, do you see it? Do you see what I'm talking about? Do you see that's 3D? Do you see the eyes? I don't know, anyway. All right, guys, so look at this. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go ahead and get into swatching. It's my last video, you will see it. I think it's gonna be up for this one is the, um, James X Morphe. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna give a lot away. I mean, you guys already seen it. I'll link it below so you guys can go watch it. I wasn't a big fan of it. Let's just say that. It was nice, but not Jaclyn Hill nice. Nothing against James. Anyway. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, and it has like a little UFO with a person being beamed up. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to go ahead and get to swatching. Should I do it? I feel like it's better if I do it on my hand because I can actually do this and you guys will see it better. I'm going to scoot on closer with my chair, not with the camera because I don't feel like getting up. I'm babbling. I'm sorry. So, we're going to get to swatching. Oh, my God. Okay, so the first shade is Pluto. Ah, oh, my hand. It's sparkly. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it like this. Oh, Oh my. Oh my dear. Look at that. Can I just have that as a freaking highlight? Mm, that's gorgeous. Okay, next is Titan, which is just a, a base shade. That. Look at that. Do you guys see that? That is pigmented. It's pigmented. Sorry, I'll control my weirdness for you guys. Controlled. Oh, this next one's going to be, dear lord, this one. Guys, look at that. Now this, this is pigmentation. Bam! I'm excited. I'm super excited. Okay, next is interstellar. Or the, or the ASMR swatching. Because I get nervous when people are in the next room. I'm a nervous person. What can I say? Next. Next is abduction. Just going to mime everything for you. Next is UFO. Next shade is Gravitia. Gravitia? Gravity? Gravity A? I don't know. It's like a it's like a shading shade, you know. Like a transition shade. Yeah. 
Next is Martian soil. Martian soil. Jeffrey, stop it. Next is flying saucer. I accidentally hit my hand against the shades and now it's blended out. Next is phone home. E.T. phone home. Is that from E.T.? I can't remember. I was only a young child. I was a young infant. Next is moon rock. Next is and was my mother's favorite show of all time, X-Files. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Next is Ghost OG, which I feel like this is a shade actually after Tati because she had the original gangster ghosts in her makeup studio. I don't know. just all so perfect you know I don't know what to do anyway next is area 51 let's go I don't know if my camera can capture it but it's like a nice deep bright purple like a royal purple Royalty. Moving on. Next shade is Space Cowboy. Space Cowboy. Again, I can't tell if you can see it, but it's like a like a dark brown maroon sparkly shade. A space cowboy. This shade, this palette's actually reminding me of Owen Rogers. This is TV series. Final Frontier. Is that what it's called? I can't remember. Let's go with Final Frontier for right now. I used to watch him on YouTube. That's besides the point. Let's continue on. Next shade is Probe. Okay, I think I can stop with the ASMR. I think they might be gone. Or they might just be doing something else very quietly. Anyway, let's continue. Back off the ASMR. These shades are gorgeous. I only have two shades left. The next shade is Tall Grey. Christian Grey. I'm sorry. I love those movies. Say what you will about Fifty Shades of Grey. I love them. The further they went, the better they got. I was there for the story. Okay, I would suggest for the story, not for Christian. Nope. Anyway, tall gray. Honestly, the first thing I saw him in was Once Upon a Time. He was, um, Graham. He was a sheriff. And if you haven't seen Once Upon a Time, go watch it. It's good. It's good until, like, the later seasons. And then Once Upon a Time in Wonderland is also good. Just watch it. It's amazing. But here's tall gray. Of course, it's it's a gray color. It's a beautiful gray color. Now this one is called Black Hole. Let's see how great it's- Ooh. Ooh. Like my soul. I'm kidding. I have a soul of an angel. You decide. Uh. That is gorgeous. If I could do eyeliner, that would be it. I'm sorry. I'm not hugely talented with makeup. I can't do winged liners. I'm not that great at doing my eyebrows. I'm not like amazing in eyeshadow. I can do it, but I'm not amazing. I can't do a cut crease. 
As you can tell from my last video, I could not do a cut crease. I know y'all are screaming at me. It's fine. Anyway, these are the last of the shades. Jeffrey. I know I haven't put on my eyes yet, but Jeffrey. Well done, sir. Well done to you, sir. These are all gorgeous. Now I actually have to, like, apply them to myself. I am even more excited, but nervous at the same time. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Okay, we got our color scheme down. Let's go, guys. I'm excited. It's not the one I wanted. This, this brush, I use it. You know what, camera? You know what? I love this brush. It's the Morphe M510. Beautiful. I use it for everything. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Titan. Ooh, oh my. It's a little powdery, but honestly, I don't care. As long as it's pigmented and it can, you know, blend well, that's all I care about, y'all. Ooh, really powdery. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Gravitia, just for a nice transition in- oh lord Jesus. <laughs> Be careful y'all, cause this is pigmented AF. Oh! Jeez. Thank god it blends well. <laughs> there we go, now that I know how pigmented it is, I can kind of control how much I'm putting on. So I don't think I'm gonna use- ah, tall gray. I feel like I should use a smaller brush for tall gray because I have a big feeling it's going to be pigmented. Okay, so I'm going to use the brush M504 from from Morphe. I'm going to grab Earl Grey. Go a little. Yep, and then just. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm scared. I'm going to be scared now. <laughs> I don't think I've ever dealt with like this pigmented stuff before, so I'm like so nervous. <laughs> Wendy's nervous. Uh. But wait, isn't she always nervous? Okay, so I use a very light hand. I'm so glad I'm baking. Because this look is going to be nuts. Because all the ones. So that's blended. We're gonna take it again. I'm too nervous to go in black hole, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go in with Ghost OG with the same brush I used for tall gray. Yeah, this one, OG does not have as much fallout. I'm just putting it on the outer corner of my eyeball just to deepen it up a little bit, you know? Okay. Now, we're going to go into the shade Alien. This is going to be so exciting and so scary at the same time. I don't know what to do. I'm excited to see these freaking shades wet. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay. Now I'm going to take the shade. Should I take Pluto or Interstellar? I think I should take it. Okay, so I'm going to take the shade Pluto and plop that right in the middle. I'm putting the shade Interstellar in the middle just for a little extra oomph. Alright, now I'm going to take the brush E18 from Morphe. Take the shade Pluto, and I'm going to slap it right here in the inner corner. Oh my god. That is perfect. That is legit perfect, because it has like that little green shade to it. And I'm putting it at the top of the brow bone. Alright, now I'm going to take the shame brush, the shame brush. Oh, 
and I'm going to go into the shade of Area 51, which is that nice royal, like purple color, and I'm going to blend it at the bottom. Okay. Ooh, I'm liking that a lot. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to take the shade Abduction with the same brush and take that bright green and I'm going to put it right here. Okay. So I'm going to go back into Clue just to make sure that that yellow shade or that Abduction shade did not over it all right all right guys so the eyes are done now we're gonna have to decide what we're gonna put on my lips because i have no idea this is the first for me but i'm gonna go into that nude shade the can't relate shade this is gonna be different for me because i usually don't go into any nude colors okay liners on Let's go ahead and put this on, shall we? Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not showing you guys the beauty of it. I like it. I actually like it on me. Usually I don't like nudes. Which honestly this probably isn't going to be by itself. I'm probably going to put like one of the glitters on top of it. But still. I do like it. Alright. So lippy. Is on. Now. Oh jeez. I think I'm going to put on. Oh which one? I think I'm going to put on alien tears over top of it. This one, it's, <clears throat> I'm so excited. I'm gonna put um, Alien Tears. Oh, wow. Do you see that? Oh, I'm dirtying it. Honestly, I don't know if I like Alien Tears. I feel like it's making the lip bunch up in a not so good way. Yeah, I don't know if I like that, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know if I like Alien Tears. Yeah, it's doing weird things to my lips. Okay. Okay. Well, it's kind of wiping off. It's fine. It's fine. Now we're going to go ahead, grab that shade again, and just try to work over what I have. On, I love it by itself. But I do not care for alien tears over top of it. I really want to try it again because I want it to work. Because I, I like it. I, mean, I like the shade by itself, but then when I went to go actually like rub it in with something, it just like look at that. It looks gorgeous on my hand. Maybe if I take it off my hand. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so maybe if you go and you take it off of your hand and go in with your finger. There we go. It works so much better if you just go off your finger. Or off your hand. There we go. It has been saved. <laughs> Alright. So at least with this, for me, it works so much better if I just take it from my hand. There we go. Much better. Okay. Alien Tears has been saved staying in my collection so my eyes are done the lips are done i'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and i'll get right back to you guys i'm so excited all right guys this is the finished look i'm so freaking excited still 
Oh my god. Okay, so everything was amazing from the lipsticks to the liquid lips from the eyeshadow. All the pigment was amazing except for two of the liquid lips that were kind of faint but were fine after you kind of put that put the um shade back over it again. One of them was still patchy. I think that was Hi, how are ya? But I will say after using it for a little while it stopped being patchy and I did use Hi, how are ya in my waterline and it is pigmented as all get out. Like it is really great. Um everything went on amazing. Jeffrey, you outdid yourself once again. This might be one of my favorite palettes of yours. It might be my favorite holiday collection of yours. It's unique. It's amazing. I don't think there's anything else like this. Honestly, all the holiday palettes are the usual holiday palettes of the holiday colors, but this, Jeffrey, this is amazing. Guys, go out and buy it. Get yourself an alien palette. Get yourself the lipsticks. It's totally worth it. I am telling you, it is so worth it. But guys, I love it. I love it. I do. I like it so much. But besides all that, thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment. Tell me how much you loved it. Tell me the show me the looks you've tried. Um Add me on Instagram. It's Lindy underscore O3 underscore Jean. It's my public profile. I haven't made like a YouTube profile. But if you want to go add me on there, add me on there and show me the books you've done. Because I'm really excited to see them. I love my look. I know I love yours. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Like. Comment. I've said that. You know. The huge. Goodbye. Now I just sound like Markiplier. Bye. This is... Uh -huh.